In this video, we're going to start to take a look at how we can simplify algebraic expressions by evaluating them at certain points. To get started, we first need to know that a variable is a letter that represents an unknown number. The idea that we can use to evaluate a expression at a variable is similar to the idea that we use when we say that a dozen is the same as 12. You could say, I have a dozen donuts, or we can replace the word dozen with the number it represents. I have 12 donuts. Notice the meaning is the same. Similarly, to evaluate algebraic expressions, we can replace the variable with the number it represents. Once we do that, the expression becomes an order of operations problem. As we make that replacement, we need to remember to put the number in parentheses. This will preserve the order of operations intended for the variable. Let's take a look at an example where we can replace the variable with a number that it represents. Notice our x squared and our x. Both those x's we know equal or represent negative 3. So let's rewrite the expression replacing the x with negative 3. Notice as I replace the x with negative 3, that substituted replaced value is put in parentheses. Once I've done that, it's just an order of operations problem. First, we know to do exponents. 4 times negative 3 squared is 9, minus 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Next, we multiply and divide from left to right. 4 times 9 is 36, minus 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Continuing to multiply, we have a negative 3 times negative 3. We now have 36 plus 9 plus 2. We can finish by adding left to right. 36 plus 9 is 45, plus 2. And finally, 45 plus 2 is 47. This problem is now complete. Let's look at another problem where we replace the variable with the numbers it represents. Notice in this problem, we have b, x, and y. But we're told that b is negative 2, x is 5, and y is 7. When we replace, we have 4b, which is negative 2, times 2x, which is 5, plus 3y, which is negative 7. Order of operations tells us to work inside the parentheses first, multiplying from left to right. So we now have 4 times negative 2, times 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 times negative 7. Continuing to multiply inside the parentheses, we have 4 times negative 2, times 10, minus 21, which is 3 times 7. Now, we can finish the parentheses, giving us 4 times negative 2, times 10, minus 21, is negative 11. We can finish by multiplying from left to right. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, times the negative 11, which will give us positive 88. To simplify, we can replace the variable with the number it represents and simplify what's left.